Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D embossed texture background effect. So I'm going to show you how to make these little squares that kind of poke out of your page and also how to make this effect with kind of circular patterns which are sticking out of your page. Now everything in this tutorial is going to be done on a background which is measured in pixels. This is kind of important. The first thing we do is we go to edit, we go to preferences, and then we go to guides and grid. And here you want to make sure that you have a grid line every 100 pixels and you want 10 subdivisions and press OK. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to create a keyboard shortcut. So we go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and we go to menu commands up here and just type in here send. And one of the options will be called send to bed, send to back. And the shortcut will be control plus one of these. I switch it to control E because that is a graphic setting. Uh, it's a shortcut that basically you'll never use, but switch to something that you can quickly do because we're gonna be doing this a lot and press okay. Now I have an artboard right here that is 1800 pixels by 1100 pixels. And now we're gonna go to view and we're gonna go show grid. And you want this artboard to be aligned to your grid lines right there. Also, we go to view and we go snap to grid. After we've done this, we're ready to begin. So let's zoom in and press M, hold shift and make a square on one of these grids right here. Now we're gonna make it a dark gray. And to make this easy for you to follow, we're gonna choose a value of 230 for the R, G and B. And that's gonna give us a gray right here. We press hold alt and shift and we move it to about that point. And one thing you might notice is that it might not stick uh, to the grid line when it's following the edge of the artboard. So you can just push it out by one grid like this and hold shift and bring it up. It's a bug in Illustrator. It's rather annoying. So there you go. Now it's aligned. And we're gonna make this into a light gray. So we're gonna choose a value of 245. This is almost white, but it's a bit off white. And press OK. Great. Now we're going to press L and we're going to make the shadow. We'll start about here, stretch it up to here, maybe about that big. And we're going to make it completely black like that. Then we're going to send to a back with our shortcut and we're going to go to effect and Gaussian blur or go to blur and then Gaussian blur right there. Click on that and we're going to give it a blur of about 18.5 pixels. Click on preview to have a look and that seems about right. You don't want it to be bleeding out on either direction. We press OK. And now we've created our base unit. Now let's select our object right here. Press Ctrl G and now it's grouped as one unit. And the way this pattern works is we just select our object, hold shift and move it so that there's one space of background in between like that. And then on the next row, we hold Alt and Shift. Now hold Alt and Shift and like that. Okay. And then we just repeat this pattern as much as we'd like. Hold Alt and Shift. You see that it's not aligning great and that's because it's following the edges right there. But basically that's the premise. Now, we need to send these things to the back in order to get this 3D effect. So we select one line at a time from top to bottom and we send to back. Select the next line, send to back, and select the last line and send to back. And there we get our 3D pattern like that. It's really simple. And then all you have to do is just paste it to wherever you like and you've got it going. One added effect you can do to this is to change the color of the background. And before we do that, you have to have another layer so this would be layer two. Let's put another layer below. And we create a box in layer two. Make it about that big like that. Okay, now it's completely black. We don't want that. We want another off-white. And for that, we want a color between 230, 245. So let's do 241 or something like that. 241, 241, press okay. And there you go. And now this gives us an extra color and an extra effect in between. And you can modify that as you wish. Great. Now I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. 
and I'm gonna show you how to make this effect right here. It's also super simple. All we do is we create one square that's as wide as two squares, just like this. I'm gonna give it this background color like that. We're gonna open our gradient tool, press G, apply a gradient, left to right. And on this point right here, we're gonna click that gradient slider, press I, oops. Click that gradient slider, press I, and hold Shift. And we're gonna pick up this color. Then we're gonna choose this gradient slider, press I, and hold Shift and click on that point right there. And now we have a very light gradient from here to here. But I want it to be a bit darker to make the effect a bit more noticeable. So we can double click on this gradient slider, go to our colors, oh, we can switch right here, and maybe make it to 210 rather than 230, 210, 210, like that. So it's a bit darker, okay? Now it doesn't stand out much right now, which is okay because we have to add the shadow. So again, we can right click on one of these, ungroup, and we're just gonna steal the shadow by holding Alt and Shift, moving it down to about there. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We can choose this, right click, and again, sent to the back. Make sure that we're in the right, yeah, we're in the right bit. Ah, so that was in the wrong layer. Make sure it's in the right layer. And there we go. We start to get that effect. And the same rules apply for this. We select this, hold Alt and Shift, move it so that there's one spacer in between, like that. And the effect really starts to get noticeable when we move it down and there's some overlap like that. Alt and Shift to here, Alt and Shift to here, okay? Now we can apply our background, like that, and then all we do is we select our objects here, press send to back, just like that, and we have our overlapping shape. And the next thing you do is you just arrange it to whatever pattern that you wanna see in here, up and down, just by selecting them and moving them out to wherever you feel they should be. And that's all there is to this pattern. It's super simple. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. Check out our videos. If you have any comment, uh, any video suggestions, please let me know, of course. Like the video, subscribe. And of course, as always, have a great day.